Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. We're trying to reduplicate this logo. We've done a pretty good job so far on the outer edges. But we need to take the path, these two uh, words, into here, right in the center, because I'm going to use those lines later. So I'm going to grab that one as 12 and a half inches. That one is 16 and a half inches. So I need another line, control D, and make a duplicate. I need one at 14.5 inches. I want to split it right down the center. Then I'm going to take the path on this line. And if we take the path right on the line, these two fonts are the same. I'm going to make this one 155. Now they're the same. Now we're going to go to text, text the path and put it on top right in the center or as close as you can get to the center. Now what you need to do always, I think it helps, is go to object, break the text apart and nudge this out of the way. And then one, you kind of see if you're in the center. We're pretty close, but I'm just giving you some idea. You want to get rid of that text before you do this text because it'll kind of mess it up. Text, text the path, and kind of get it in the middle, and then mirror it one way, mirror it the other way, and then you can always bring it back down to the middle. Now, you know, I never have liked this type of doing it this way. Um, I don't like moving the letters individually, but you can. You know, like if you think the L is too close, you could move some the letters around. But when you do that, you're also going uphill one more, one way more than the other. So you could go, you know, the other way, like the X is too close to the U. And just kind of make it look good. And then grab it all, text, or sorry, object, break text apart, and move it over here. That looks pretty good. We're actually a little bit too close to the interior line. And you could set your nudge factor on something really, really low, zero, one, and just kind of nudge this up or redo it. You know, you're, cause you're gonna lose a little bit of path here, but we're gonna call that good enough. See, you're, you're a little bit off now, but that's beside the point. Now, all we have to do is draw us, what I would do, I'm gonna group this together, control G, so we won't mess it up. I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then I'm gonna make a star that size. And stars are under polygon tool. And draw you a star, holding another control button and hit P. Now, as you can see, stars are never in the center because they're an odyssey deal. We've got our, still got our nudge factor set pretty low. So we can new, move that, nudge that star a little bit one way or the other. I'm working with something that's so big. Now let's grab our logo and nudge it out of the way. Let's change our nudge factor that back to that 22. Nudge that out of the way. That doesn't look half bad. Now, whether you want a, a border around this star and you're, you're going to have to use black and white, so uh, you might really want to think about that. You could take the star and Control-D and make a duplicate. Holding down the Shift key, you can go inside or outside to make that border, but it's never perfect, so it might be better to contour it. Go to Effects and Contour. Contour, let's go to the inside. That's not enough. Let's go... Uh, 0.25, you forget how big, and we don't want rounded corners, we want square corners, and that's maybe too thick, let's go uh, 0.2, and then, you know, just depending on your color screen, take, color scheme, just take and make this interior star, star black, make the outer one that light gray or even a white, you're gonna have to do some testing and then look at this. Well, let's do uh, the bands around it. Let's do the bands in black. 
Now, I want to take away the outline. But in what I would suggest, because this is such a light color, I maybe wouldn't color that in, but I'd give it a black and something other than a hairline so it'll show up. And that's quite possibly something you could do with the other part up here. You know, instead of having a color, you could just have the box <clears throat> making it look like the color. I think we're pretty close. I think we sh I should have made a little bit larger t text, you know, to wrap around, but uh, pretty impressive. And if you don't understand what I meant about this, go to uh, group and ungroup it. Take away that color, but add an outline of something other than a hairline when you're drawing it. That might be the key to engrave that cup. Because then you're going to see that, but you're going to have a dark. It's going to look pretty good if you do that. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.